Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the array function find first element, which allows us to set some search parameters uh, on an array. And basically, it will find the first element in that array that matches those search parameters. So let's go ahead and look at a quick example. I'm going to go to run and debug. We can ignore my input for now. And I've just created one variable here. You can see there's something else hidden, but let's just focus on number two right now. This is a simple array, A, B, C, D. So if we go ahead and add our find first element under data manipulation and arrays, you can see it here right in the middle. It'll find the first match element. The first thing we do is select the existing array. So in this case, we have that array variable right in my function stack. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then you'll notice it says the dollar sign this variable is available within the expression builder below, which represents each element iteration of the array. So we're going to use the dollar sign this variable in place of array so we can actually search through each element of that array to find the first one that matches. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and that will take place of the array variable in my function. And I'm just gonna map this up in this case to my search input here. And then let's just go ahead and give a name for the result variable. I'll just call it result and hit save. And now if I just change my response to result, and hit save, we can easily go through that array and pull the matched element. So I could say something like C, and you can see it will return C in the result. We could do A, and so on and so forth. So that's obviously a very simple example. I wanna show you something a little more complex. So I have a query all records here, and I do wanna note query all records have pretty advanced filtering options if you do wanna quickly find a single element, but I just wanna show you how to search through an object array in this case. So I'm going to just show you first what, uh, what this query all records looks like. It's my variable array. We can ignore this search parameter for now. And you can see we have things like name, description, etc. So one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to unhide our find first element. And when I go back into this expression builder, you can see that the dollar sign, this variable, it takes place of that array, but we know my array is a uh, object array, so there's different key value pairs nested in there. So for example, if I wanted to search through description and find a match element there, I can just use dot notation to say this dot description. Now, I don't wanna have to find an exact string match. You'll notice if I open up the operators, the operators are, look a little bit different than the query where we have things a little more flexible, like like, in, etc. Well, now those just become filters or similar filters, really. So if I wanted to do something like I contains, I could do a non-case uh, uh, non sensitive expression to be found. And it will ask me what I will be searching with and that will just be my search input. And I did update. And now we would just set that equal to true or false based on what we wanna find. And also, I do want to note, we can keep chaining these expressions with and, or, in groups, just depending on how uh, complex or what all you need to search through in that array to find a match. So I'm just going to do one expression here for now. I'll hit save. And so let's go ahead and return our result variable one more time. So now you can see, I might go ahead and do something all uppercase, like fruit here. And what will be returned is item one, which says a fruit that you can eat. And you'll notice fruit is even lowercase uh, right there. So that I contains, remember it's case insensitive. So it just helps for more flexible search. I just wanted to uh, also show you guys how you can search through object arrays right there. Obviously you can chain more things, use more filters, but all in all that find first element array, super handy for searching through something in array and spitting out the result, especially without needing to iterate with a loop. So thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful.